Okay, good morning, everyone. I hope that we are all here together. Um, I'm gonna wait to see if there's anyone that finds this video. I'm not seeing a whole lot of people on here. There we go. Good morning. I've enabled the comments, so hopefully, oh, great, here we go. Okay, now we're seeing people log in. I'm glad it's working. It was, I had a link all set up and then it looked like it wasn't working. So good morning, everyone. I've enabled the comments uh, so that we can uh, engage together. I hope we're all doing well on this. Uh, it's raining here where I am. I don't know if it's raining where you are, uh, but uh, this should be a really good way to start our week. Hopefully we can get our minds kind of stretched out and we can try to solve a riddle together. So um, just so that we know how uh, the stories with holes work, I'm gonna tell you a story and it's gonna be missing a lot of information. So what your job is, will be to listen to the pieces of the story that I give you and see if you can fill in the gaps and try to explain what happened or explain why uh, this is uh, happening, why it's going on. The Stories with Holes comes from a book by Nathan Levy. He's got a whole series called Stories with Holes. And um, today I have my fifth grade moderator with me. This is Natalie. She's going to field, she's going to repeat some of the questions that she sees popping up in the comments. So um, I'm going to tell you the story. Um, you can ask yes or no questions in the comments. And as we see those questions come up, um, I will answer the questions with a yes or a no. And then uh, we'll see if we can answer this riddle together. All right. Today's riddle is called Joanne's Diet. All right. And it sounds like this. Joanne could eat lobster, but not shrimp. She ate pears, but not apples. Turnips were allowed, but never spinach. Even crab would suffice, but not potatoes, corn, or even lamb. So you're going to try to figure out what is the restriction in Joanne's diet. So let's start with some questions. Hopefully we have the chat enabled so we can all pop some questions on there. I'll say it again, just in case you're still typing. It's Joanne could eat lobster, but not shrimp. She ate pears, but not apples. Turnips were allowed, but never spinach. Even crab would suffice but not potatoes, corn, or even lamb. I'm not seeing any comments. Maybe I'm, this is my first time going, there we go. So is it a certain type of food? It's from the, the first question. Is it a certain type of food? Uh, no, it's not a certain type of food. I'm gonna read it again. So for those of you who are just joining in, um, the story with holes, we're trying to figure out Joanne's diet. And it sounds like this. Joanne could eat lobster, but not shrimp. She ate pears, but not apples. Turnips were allowed, but never spinach. Even crab would suffice, but not potatoes, corn, or even lamb. Do you have a question you can think of? 
Um, yeah, then you should ask because we're not we're only getting one question. Is it a certain type of food? Oh. It's not a certain type of food. Well, it has. Does it have something to do with the letters? Does it have something to do with the letters? Yes, it does have something to do with the letters. What do you mean by letters? I don't know. It just doesn't have something to do with the letters. Letters of what? The foods. The letters of the foods. It has something to do with the letters of the foods. Okay. So let's think. Is there any other questions you can think of to lead us to the answer? Let's post those questions in the comments. Okay, I'll say the riddle one more time. Joanne could eat lobster, but not shrimp. Um, she ate pears, but not apples. Turnips were allowed, but never spinach. Even crab would suffice, but not potatoes, corn, or even lamb. Would you like to field the question, Natalie? Is it an amount of letters in the words? So it's not the amount of letters in the words. Great question. She's following the yeses. Not the amount of letters in the words, and it's not a certain type of food. Should we make a list of some of the foods she can eat? Should we make a list in the comments? Hi, Brian. Okay, we're asking yes or no questions to see if we can figure out what is going on with Joanne's diet. Okay, so the, the uh, once again, Joanne could eat lobster, but not shrimp. She ate pears, but not apples. Turnips were allowed, but never spinach. Even crab would suffice, but not potatoes, corn, or even lamb. Pretty strict diet. It's a pretty strict diet, right? We can't figure out what it is that's uh, driving Joanne's diet. Hi, hi, Rosio. We're posting yes or no questions to see if we can get to the answer. Okay, is it because there are a lot of they're all um, soft? No, no, it's got nothing to do with whether they're soft. Good question, though. So certain, not a certain type of food. It's not the amount of letters in the word. The word has to have two vowels. Oh, good guess. That's not it, though, crab. because crab was one of those words, right, mm -hmm. Natalie? Yeah, crab. She can have crab. Yeah. Um, all right. So she let's, let's list some of the things she can have. What were some of the yeses? Lobster. She can have lobster. Crab. Crab. Pears. Pears. Okay. Um, Turnips. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So not necessarily vegetables, Ryan, but good guess. Let's read it one more time because I see we have some new people that have just joined us. Good morning. The, uh, the, the story with holes is called Joanne's Diet. And here it goes. Joanne could eat lobster, but not shrimp. She ate pears, but not apples. Turnips were allowed, but never spinach. Even crab would suffice, but not potatoes, corn, or even lamb. So let's see if we can figure this out. If we follow the yeses, Natalie, can you recap what we've heard yeses on so far? Um, the only one, the thing is... Uh, the way the letters are. So it's something to do with the letters, like the way that the the foods are spelled, right? Mm -hmm. And 
Um, it wasn't the amount of letters though, was it? What else was a yes? Did we follow any other yeses? No. We haven't had another yes just yet. Okay. So that's a good tip. Is it because she's allergic? No, that's a good guess, but she's not allergic. Not allergic. Well, she's allergic. She's allergic to a lot of things. Yeah. Well, can you think of another question, Natalie? Mm. Mm, based on the, based on, well, okay. Is it with the way the letters are arranged? Yes. So what are we trying to find? That's okay. Welcome. Good morning. I'm going to read it one more time. This is a story with holes. We're trying to figure out um, what's missing. What are we missing from this story? The story is called Joanne's Diet, and it sounds like this. Joanne could eat lobster, but not shrimp. She ate pears, but not apples. Turnips were allowed, but never spinach. Even crab would suffice but not potatoes, corn, or even lamb. Hi, Nika. She cannot eat white food. No, no, that's not it. Let's see if we can maybe make a list of some of the foods she can eat. Let's put, can you post a comment and list some of the foods you know she can eat? Crab, yep, lobster, that's right. Those are things she can. So what's happening? I'm seeing a comment. We're we're solving a story with holes and we're trying to figure out um, Joanne's diet, right? Lobster, crabs, turnips, pears, those are all yeses. So now that you've seen them written down, so fish is a no, she can't have fish. She can have turnips, she can have pears. Well, she can't eat... In general, she can't eat fish, but like she can eat different types of fish. She can eat lobster. She can have crab. lobster. She can have la uh, crab. And she can't have fish. Right, not fish. So she can have crab, but not fish. So there's something about that. I wonder why. What is it that's different between crab and fish? And again, what was the yes? Letters. The letters. So it's something to do with the way they're spelled. Arranged. The way they're arranged. Oh, it's the way they're arranged. Okay, so, um, hmm, let's think. Can you think of another example of a food she might be able to eat? Chicken. Can she eat chicken? Nope, she can't eat chicken. What about pork? <laughs> pork. Mm, no, she can't have pork. But she could have a pork chop. What? Uh, she is not a pescatarian. She is not a pescatarian. Uh, she, they she don't have all pork. have an S at the end, but that's a good that's a good observation that you notice that. Pork, but you can't. She can't have pork, but she can have pork chops? Yes, that's correct. Are they the same thing? Nope, nope. What's different between pork and pork chops? There's chops at the other one. Okay, all right. So we have another word. So we, sometimes we can add a word and make it something she can eat. Hmm. Is there maybe a non-food item she could eat? <laughs> Leaves. Leaves. Nope. She can can't. she eat strawberries? Strawberries, um, yes, she can have strawberries. She can have strawberries. So let me reread the, the story one more time. The story is Joanne could eat lobster, but not shrimp. She ate pears, but not apples. Turnips were allowed, but never spinach. Even crab would suffice, but not potatoes, corn, or even lamb. 
So if you split the word in half, it would make two different words. No, nope, that's a great guess though. That's not it. Seeds. Uh, no, she can't have seeds. No, that's uh, so. One of the first questions we had was, uh, "Was it a type of food?" And the the, uh, the answer is no. It was not a type of food. So if you're going back in the comments, you might be able to see some of the questions that we already uh, had. So what were some of the yeses? My my uh, the matter. Letters. Okay, so the yeses were the way the letters were arranged. So it's something to do with the way the letters are arranged. And what else did we figure out? Um. Yes, it does. Tanvi, very good. It does it have something to do with the order of the alphabet? Yes, it does. You think you know the answer? I'm not gonna say. Okay, that's okay. Welcome. Good morning. I know some of you got here late. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, tell the story one more time. It's called Joanne's diet. And we're trying to figure out what uh, what Joanne eats and why she eats it. And the story goes like this. Joanne could eat lobster, but not shrimp. She ate pears, but not apples. Turnips were allowed, but never spinach. Even crab would suffice, but not potatoes, corn, or even lamb. Tanvi thinks she's got it, okay. So do you want to ask a yes question, Tanvi? Ryan got it. Okay, Ryan, ask a yes question then. That's okay. That's okay. It's a, it's okay not to get it. That's okay. So let's follow the yeses. If you haven't gotten it yet, you follow the yeses, right? So what do we know is a yes? It's, um, it has to do with the alphabet and the way the letters are arranged. It's to, something to do with the alphabet. It's something to do with the, the way the letters are arranged. We came up with some examples of things she can eat. Can you list another example of something she can eat that we haven't listed? Two letters in the word have to be in alphabetical order. That's it, Tanvi. You got yes, it. Good for you. That's awesome. No, it's not to do with the syllables. Tanvi got it. So let's list another example of something she can eat. Um, strawberries. Well, we said strawberries. Let's list a new word, a new thing that um, she can eat. Can she eat plastic? <laughs> she can eat plastic. Is there anything else? Strawberries, we said. Yeah, is there anything else she can eat? Sticks. Sticks. Yeah, she can eat sticks. Right. So that's why she can eat pork chops, but not pork. All right. All right, well, we got it in under 20 minutes. That's, I think, a record. That's pretty good. Let's do this again uh, next week. Let's do another Monday morning warm up next week. I hope you have a great week. Thank you so much for joining me live. I've never gone live before, so I appreciate you all coming. <laughs> yeah, string beans. You guys got it. Good for you. Awesome. I would high five you. You can high five the screen if you want. Um, thank you. Thank you for joining me this morning. I look forward to doing it again and um, have a great week. Bye.